It's a pack trick. Thank you. You're good to go? Oof. Dhoni has got his own style, which is uh, so much, so much successful for him. Um, I mean, I think uh, we can do a research into his uh, style of wicket keeping, and I would like to call it the Mahi way. And there's so many things to learn from that, and there's so many things which other young keepers may not be able to even contemplate. So, uh, yeah, he is unique in his own ways, and uh, that is exactly how cricketers should be unique why, in their own why way. Is He's got great hands. I mean, he's definitely the best, best glowman uh, as far as uh, wicket keeping for spinners goes to. His hands uh, work at the speed of lightning for stumping. We all know that. So that is something which is very innate to him, which is unique to him, great to watch. At the same time, something which has, for somebody who doesn't have that skill, a big challenge to get there. So uh, he's very unique and uh, that is the way it should be. He's unbelievable. With the Mahi way, that's what I call it. Yeah, PE is called the Windy City, isn't it? If I'm not mistaken, I read that on Wiki. So, we yeah, definitely will take that into consideration. That is something which is uh, important, especially for high balls, and you have to keep that into account. It comes under your awareness. So wherever, no matter where you're fielding on the boundary line, you need to be aware which way the wind is blowing. And you also need to be aware of the batter's tendencies, the game situation. And accordingly, you should be able to prepare, you know, in terms of wanting the ball to come to you. Yeah. Yes, uh, we were a uh, little below par on the field in the last game. One catch, Shreya being a brilliant fielder that he is. A great attempt, was not a grade one catch. It's easy to be harsh on ourselves sometimes. Okay, easy to be harsh on our players, very easy, the easiest thing to do, but if you see that was a difficult catch. And uh, yeah, the ball, you see the ground and Jonas Berg ball snakes a lot, and it's what happened to Kuldeep, he was trying to attack and save the two, the ball just snaked a little bit more than he expected. These things happen, but we, we are practicing for those things, we got our players to get attention to the detail in every minute aspect of every skill, not only fielding. And so, yeah, so we try and do that every game. And like in this game, we'll take into account the wind factor and the size of the ground and make sure that we are aware of that when we enter the field. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, when the 2019 World Cup is concerned, ever since Ravi's taken over, one of the things that we always meditate was that, you know, from, to be a good, from a good side to become <coughs> a good better, fielding is one area. So, uh, from this team's perspective, are we still a work in progress? Look, if you really see about the, if I'm talking about the one-day side, definitely there is more athleticism to be seen on the ground. It's on view. And if you if you see even the last three, four series, take right from Champions Trophy to Sri Lanka, West Indies, sorry, Australia, West Indies, uh, the athleticism on the ground has been good. We've been saving more runs than we've been giving away. We've been seeing a lot of runs than the opposition. It was there for everybody to see, even in the Australian series. And uh, other important aspect for positive from this team is more often than not, the team, the difference between the good days and the bad days is very less. We not flash one day and really bad the other day like few of the other teams. We try and reduce the gap between our good days and the bad days. There is a level to which we can be and we try and maintain that, try and be consistent on that. That is what is the endeavor. And uh, yes, we work on the technical aspect of fielding as much as we can. But like Ravi and Virat want, we want the 11 best fielders to take the park every time we get out there. That is the endeavor going in for the next 15 months. But uh, definitely, we are one of the better one-day fielding teams in the world. I can vouch for that. You have this series lead. What match away from winning the first ever yeah. one-day series in South Africa? But South Africa came back on Saturday. What is the talk in the change room about the state of the series? Well, we are really upbeat about it. We have the 
confidence of taking the wins in the first three games. We know we are. We know our game plans. See, when the games get reduced, when the overs are reduced, the definitely the skill level between two teams are also reduced because when there is nothing to lose from a batting side point of view in terms of the situation we had last game after the delays. So uh, that's something which is good is happening at this stage for our uh, build up into the World Cup games where you you get delayed when you're on a roll, especially when you're batting. So we were 200 for one or 200 for two, 34th over. It was a big delay, broke the momentum. These are the things that we want to happen more in terms of our preparation. We love to embrace our situations so that we, even if we make a mistake, we know how to respond it respond to that same situation the next time around. So these things are good for us, bowling with a wet ball, maybe a wet outfield, reduced games. These are fantastic to happen and we learn by every game. And going as far as your question is concerned, yeah, we have a lot of confidence in the dressing room. Uh, like they say, one swallow doesn't make a summer. So we are still confident and we'll surely come back, come back next game with a good, solid game plan. It's a good question, sort of the whole endeavor is to one, look at the state of the game and see which player can be the best at that particular situation and two, to give our other batsmen, apart from obviously MS, a chance to go there and take the responsibility and uh, take the game till the end. So we want more finishers, we want to train and groom more finishers and uh, at the same time we also want our 5, 6, 7 to be able to go in and uh, learn the situation and play according to to adapt to it. So that is why you, you see the rotation, which is uh, which augurs well. But very soon, I think we'll be settling into a fixed five, six, seven as we get closer to the big day. Yeah. Just like, say, uh, about the pitch, uh, pitch you come close Looks good. Yeah, it looks good. It's a good pitch. I would uh, I like to bowl on it. More or less, you see most of the players pick themselves. We see how they do. So it's just a matter of one or two slots which we need to uh, zero in and nail in. So which I think uh, depends on the form at that particular point of time. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, guys. Yes. Thanks.